we're at the Grassroots Garden and the way the Grassroots Garden creates such amazing vegetables is they take advantage of the City of Eugene's leaf collection program. They ask the city to bring in hundreds and hundreds of yards of leaves and local arborists bring in as many loads of wood chips and they turn that organic matter into the soil and make it bug food. And it's the bugs, it's the bacteria and microorganisms that create the fertility that grows 60,000 pounds of vegetables for Mary Bradley every year. Composting can be very simple, or it can be kind of complicated depending on which direction you're coming from. But you know, if you just think about these four simple things that a good compost needs, it needs a source of nitrogen, which is typically our grass clippings and our food scraps. It needs a source of carbon, which is typically our leaves and our shredded paper and straw and maybe even wood chips or sawdust. It needs air because we want to encourage the growth of aerobic organisms. And then we want to water everything down so that it's as moist as a wrung out sponge. So as long as we have carbon, nitrogen, air, and water, you should be good to go and build it in a nice three by three pile and it should heat up very nicely for you. We recommend whatever compost method draws a person. So they might want to work with worms because they have children and they want to teach their children the benefits of returning food scraps through worms back to the earth. They may have a lot of yard debris and a lot of grass clippings and they may want to set up a big pallet type compost bin to take care of all that material. So it really depends on what works for somebody. I think the easiest method for most folks is a very simple dump and cover method. And it can be used in any kind of bin that you might have. And it's just a simple matter of taking your countertop compost out to your compost area, lifting the lid, dumping it in, and then reaching for whatever carbon source you use and covering those food scraps so they're not visible. When we backyard compost, we reduce the landfill space that's being taken up. We reduce the amount of methane that's being created. The compost that gets generated or created, when we work it into our soils, it helps reduce the amount of watering that we need to do. We can grow bigger, healthier plants that withstand pests and bugs. It helps hold water, it helps let go of water if you've got really clay soils. It's kind of like an all-purpose elixir. There's nothing that can't be improved by adding compost to your soil.